Hey, it's Aaron, and today we're gonna to talk a little bit about Hillary Clinton because she's found some sort of way to weasel her way back into the public discourse. Um, and this time it's for things that are even more cringy than usual. Of course, you all remember Hillary Clinton, the person that got beaten by, well, possibly the world's most beatable candidate, Donald Trump, back in 2016, and uh, ran off into the woods, hopefully becoming an Anne Prim for a little while, but unfortunately, she she keeps popping her little head back up um, and not just when tourists get lost in the middle of the woods she keeps just appearing on the news and it's very frustrating to all of us who just want her to go away now recently she came back into the news because she's had a lot of for lack of a better word cringy um, comments that she's been saying about trans people recently. I think it was just two months ago she came out saying something along the lines that uh, the real heroes are the uh, parents of trans people who are actually able to go through the trauma of finding out that their children are trans and, and accepting them for that and, and that somehow makes them heroes and not, you know, just the way that we should actually be looking at this, that parents should accept their children if they're trans because that's just what parents should do. That's kind of the baseline. So there was obviously some flack from that. And of course, the regular people came out in defense of Hillary saying, you know, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. If she continues to say things that are cringy like this, then maybe if there's some sort of um, larger uh, uh, aspect to this, if she keeps coming out saying these things, then maybe we'll actually uh, say that there's something wrong here. Well, in the last couple of hours, she's come out and said more things that have been even more cringy, and uh, I'll tell you about them now. So basically, in the last few hours, Hillary Clinton has come out and said something along the lines of uh, trans people are an actual threat to, well, I assume biological women, uh, because they don't have the same lived experiences as those biological women. So, and obviously she doesn't really understand trans people because it's a new thing to her and uh, they, she didn't have to deal with these sorts of things when she was growing up. Actually, Hillary, yeah, you did. And in fact, you've done everything in your power, in your political career, to fight against the um, rights and freedoms of every disparaged group pretty much all across the board. You've called uh, black, uh, black children super predators. Uh, you've even been in defense of the uh, Defense of Marriage Act, which basically forced uh, the laws so, the, so that gay people couldn't even get married. And there were always trans people through the entirety of your existence. They've, already, they've always existed and you know that they've always existed because you've been in these circles your entire li life. You clearly know that there are these sorts of people that are out there. So <clears throat> the fact that she would actually say that these sorts of things are new to her is kind of hilarious. And it's even more hilarious when it's coming from a person who, you know, defended Jeffrey Epstein and paid him tons of money considering what he's done with uh, underage people all throughout the course of his career. So kind of interesting that Hillary Clinton would go in that direction. Um, I don't really believe her in that situation. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, Hillary hasn't done anything to actually prove to us that she's any sort of feminist, if you want to say that that's what she is. A lot of people are saying that she's a trans-exclusionary radical feminist, a TERF, which, by the way, fuck TERFs. But that would assume that Hillary Clinton is actually a feminist in any sort of way. But I would have to actually argue that she's done more to disparage against feminism and against women in general uh, than basically anybody else on the face of the earth at this point. What she's done is commodi uh, commodified feminism into this thing that basically benefits her right? She's basically taken the idea of feminism and made it into a selling feature that allows her to say, hey, look, I'm the woman. I'm able to get all of these female votes. Vote for me because that's who I am. When really all that she actually is, is a warmonger, a criminal, somebody that defends a child pedophile uh, or uh, pedophiles, Jeffrey Epstein, and uh, she's basically a terrible human being. So that's the way I got to look at it. If you do get a chance, please check out my Patreon. Every dollar does help fund this show. And thanks for watching.